Right guys, we are back. So um, we've gone to the Zotfot Picks uh, homeworld now to find out what they need. Ah, it is the alien from the Pengesi's Alliance. Just look at those weapon pods on his ship. We hope that during this visit, we can make clear to your species the benefits of a mutual assistance pact. But we're also armed to the teeth, so don't try stealing our atmosphere or anything sneaky like that. And I had a special vacuum cleaner in store for that, so, uh, courtesy of Spaceballs. <laughs> right, let's have a, little, have a little look at what's going on, shall we? No, we have nothing new to report. Nope, not a thing. How wonderful, we accept. Oh, that was easy. How marvelous. Captain, we are delighted that your people have made this choice. Now we won't get slaughtered. In exchange for our cooperation helping you with captains and ship design, all that we ask for is your protection. So we don't get slaughtered. We shall begin fulfilling our commitment at once. We will transport officers and our stinger design to your base immediately. Nice. Why, Maybe I'll even make the trip to your planet. I'd make a good starship captain, Captain. I'm pretty darn mean in a fight, and there ain't nobody better than me with a thrusty stinger tongue attack. Those stinger tongue attacks are pretty powerful. Alright, find out what's going on. One of those black ships was snooping around the system. But before it got to our world, some of the green ships warped in, destroyed the black vessel, and then left immediately. We got lucky. <laughs> So, what do you want to know? Just ask away. Right. Not much to tell the truth. This space exploration stuff is uh, kind of new to us. Besides the green alien ship, which have only tried to kill us, and the black alien ship, which have actually been quite successful at killing us. The only other starships we have encountered are strange tumbling red probes, which profess to be on a peaceful mission. <laughs> but then attack like flavoring Zabranti. We believe that the probes are actually robotic scouts, which have suffered some kind of malfunction resulting in their aberrant behavior. And what's worse, they are multiplying. Yes, that's true. The probes seem to be replicating at a geometric rate. Hey! That means if there was only one last week, then next month, uh, wait a minute, let me calculate. Uh, uh, that means next month there'll be a whole mess of those things. Mm. By backtracing the probe's course path, we have been able to calculate that the course of the probe is somewhere on a direct line that includes our star and Epsilon must go. Go get them, Captain. All right. Let's have a little look, shall we? The Stinger is the peak of our technological plan. It's totally awesome! These vessels are cheap to build and can be quite effective in short-range combat. They turn on a, on a, well, a small round thing that's real small. Remember though, like a dime. most ships, the Stinger must close distance immediately and give unrelenting tongue attacks until either the enemy or the Stinger are destroyed. Yeah, the tongue is the best part. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of tongue in cheek uh, when it comes to these guys. Um. Nope, not a word. Right. Ah, cultural exchange. A good idea. Yeah, let's tell them about funny duty. Be quiet, you fool. He asks a serious question. He doesn't want to know about Frungy. How do you know? What makes you so smart? You never even asked him if he wants to know about Frungy. I bet right now he's wondering, what is this wonderful sport, Frungy? How is it played? What kind of equipment do you need to play Frungy? And I wonder if he's a the Frungy championship. Ah! Would you shut up about Frungy? If you say another word about that stupid game, I'm going to lose control and blow a cloud of spores at you. Yeah, okay, okay. Don't blow your sack. I won't mention Frungy again, I promise. Well, Captain, 
as we should probably see our culture's predominant trait, the trait of strength and weakness, is the diverse interactions between black, white, and thick. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy! You see, I actually really care about Frungy. Our past? Quite a broad topic for this short conversation. But let's share a key piece of our history with you. After we killed off the last of Frungy, we faced an interesting question. Could we proceed and establish a culture which would advance in art, technology, and social sophistication? Or should we just go back into the forest and kick back and enjoy ourselves? Knowing that as a brunt, it wasn't going to jump out of the bush and eat us. Well, we did go back into the forest. We stayed there for about 5,000 years and had a great time. Then, one stormy day, a zot, a fox, and a pig were walking up a steep path looking for something good to eat when a bolt of lightning struck nearby. With a huge flash of light, the bolt of energy carved a strangely shaped chunk of granite out of a cliff. It was a ditch with a hole in the middle. As the rock began to roll down the hill toward the three terrified beings, some dry grass got caught in its hole. And since the rock was still hot, the grass caught on fire. When the rock finally got to the dock, the fox and the pet simultaneously discovered the real fire and reversed it, <laughs> just catapulting them on the road of progress. Which has led us to this day, Captain. Oh, how did the flaming wheel give religion to our culture, you ask? I will explain. You see, when it got to the three things, the flaming wheel was <laughs> a pretty good quest, and it ran smack into the rock, killing him. The spot and the pit felt so bad. They really liked that shot. That they decided the shot hadn't really died when the wheel flattened him. He had just gone to a better place. Presumably one without wheel. Okay, yeah, I think that is enough info for now. Um, there's a number of interesting religious things with these guys. Um, Anything else? Goodbye, Captain. See ya. I'm good. Right, that's uh, a very interesting uh, opening there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and I'm going to head back to my home base, having made an alliance, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go to star map. Oh my god, it's so far away. There you go. Now, I'm pretty sure if memory serves that in terms of, uh, like, great galactic distance, uh, we don't want to tank all those green ships yet. Oh no. Right, so it begins the endless slog through uh, enemies. Right. Okay. Alright, that's not too bad. I'm just hoping that I can get back without uh, being eaten by these things, which is... There seems to be a lot of them chasing me right now. Um, that's really not good. Look at them all closing in. Oh dear. It's a good thing I discovered autopilot because I really couldn't beat these guys um, in terms of escaping. I think it's the amount of thrusters I've got on this ship. So, I might have to... No, I don't think I've got enough room for any more. Maybe just one more thruster. Yeah. That was an interesting sort of exchange. Uh, the Zok, the Fot, and the Pick, and their amazing game, Frungy, uh, will be brought back to my empire, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, this journey has taken a huge amount of fuel up. And I just have enough to get back to my star system, I believe, if I've calculated it correctly. I think, um, in terms of, like, travel, the game is really, really good, and I, I do love the uh, hyperspace thing that they got going on. Very distinctive, the uh, red sh the ship flying through the red black uh, background. Ah, oh, dear.
Almost home. I think I recognise those three stars. But yeah, I seem to have uh, managed to evade my uh, pursuers, which is the most important thing. I've only got 25 crew left, which means that if I did get into a fight, there's a good chance that the AI and myself wouldn't be able to beat it. Nearly home. So we'll find out exactly what Commander Hayes thinks of everything. <laughs> Yeah, my maneuverability's really gone up since the uh, beginning of the game. And that's really, really good, because it, it basically means that I'll be able to avoid ships within star systems as well. So I'm going to check out the star command. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. It would appear your diplomatic efforts have struck gold, Captain. We've been contacted by a race called the Zokbot who wish to fulfill their part of the unification, something you have arranged with them, I gather. They have sent us specifications for the Stinger-class attack vessels, as well as a large number of Zoxbot pick commanding officers. You're doing a fine job, Captain. Also, in the log of your voyage from Unzervald, I read that you encountered a tumbling red probe that attacked the Tober Moon, killing Captain Burton. Over the past few months, we have monitored an increasing number of these probes entering the system, and I'm afraid their population seems to be growing geometrically. If this continues, in a year, space will be crawling with these things. I recommend you treat this as a serious problem now, before it becomes a disaster. Discover who is producing these probes and stop them from creating any more. Right, I do know who's creating them. It's uh, an alien race, which is quite interesting, but I'll get into that later. Job, Captain. Lots of resource units there. Certainly, Captain. What do you need to know? Right, I know all about the star base, um, and it's important to uh, leave a couple of things as a mystery. So uh, let's uh, have a little look at how we can uh, get ourselves kitted out. Right, first of all, we want to kit out on fuel. So that journey cost me a lot in terms of resource units. Right, so yeah. I want to I do need to max out my ship um, and basically fill it full of proper crew members so uh, it can survive uh, battle. Outfitting starship. One thing I can do is get an additional thruster. Is there anything else that I can get while I'm here? I do want to um, invest in a new dynamo unit um, so that my combat capability increases, but I can always get there later. Um, Ah, one thing I do need is I've lost one of my landers, so I get another lander. Exit menu, depart starbase, get ready to leave the system, and we're going to go somewhere new. Hopefully it's going to be a good resource gathering exercise. Uh, I've got a lot more space on my ship now, so I can bring back a lot more, uh, which basically is going to make a better use of my fuel. Catch you in a bit. Bye bye.